form of medicine, which would raise everyone's taxes. We all have to pay for it. It has to get paid for. It's not free, truly. The American taxpayers have to pay for it. So, Look at gas. What's that? Look at the gas. The right. gas prices are skyrocketing high, right? Right. What, what's the difference in gas and health care? Wouldn't you rather pay more for your health than on gas, right? Do you, do you think our, our hospitals should be used by illegal aliens, though, from people from other countries that haven't paid into our system? That cross the border illegally? You mean there's been 50 uh, emergency rooms in Los Angeles County that have closed because illegals use those services because by law we have to treat them. However, they don't pay. So those hospitals go bankrupt. And that affects everybody. It's all about God at the same time, too. I'm a big believer in God. And when he worked us over here, he didn't say it was going to be this world, this world, this world, that world. He won't do that. If that's the case, slavery should right? still be going Just on. Just think of it. If that's the case. As if we went from immigrant and nah, hurting. We went from blacks sitting on the back of the bus. Blacks not being able to drink out the same water fountain. Blacks not being able to do shit. And now we talking about what Mexicans can't do. Well, do you make the do you make the distinction between an immigrant and an illegal alien? Do you do you, do you see a difference between the two? Well, I'm not from California, so I got Mexican and black people. So right, and I do as well. I mean, what I'm talking about is we, we do have a, an immigration system, and it's, there's a huge backlog of people waiting to get in that are playing by the rules. That you know, um, my mother so came. Can you actually honestly tell me that if you were at a hospital and just because you knew this man was a legal immigrant, you you seen him die, you would not help him? No, absolutely not. No, no, and I'm not suggesting that. However. When you have illegal aliens coming into the country and using our social services that you and I have paid into through our tax money, and then a foreigner comes in illegally, we that uses the. That Bush do, so what's the difference? Okay, but if the, but if all those hospitals go hey, bankrupt look, as a result of well, that, are you concerned you that question. you're not going to have a place to go? Let to me get ask free you this question because I should have been in that movie, Denzel. Denzel, you should have put me in that movie, The Great Debater. But look, let me ask you this question. <laughs> Mother 
motherfuckers been coming over here from Mexico. They been coming over here from, so what's the difference from a Mexican coming over here than a Chinese motherfucker coming over here selling liquor in the hood? What's the difference from Russians coming over here? Indian motherfuckers, what's the difference? It ain't no different. It's okay for them to come over here. You got Arabs coming over here. Who can say that they want from another 9-11? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, because if you're promoting open borders, you are inviting terrorists and people that want to do harm to you. What's the difference between Chinese, Africans, Arab, Mexicans? What's the difference? They're all coming over here, so why is it such a big deal that we're probably bringing Mexicans over here? Sure enough, they are illegal immigrants. They are probably taking all of some of our hard-earned tax money. But once again, you have to think about it. You have other people from different countries coming over here too. Right. It's not just the Mexicans. Right. And and no one's and no one's fingering the, the, the ethnicity. I mean, we just happen to have a border with Mexico. Yeah. So we get most of the legal immigration yeah. that comes from Mexico. Can but, yeah, go for it. Can we do the shit? That, the shit that they do out here, can we do that shit in their country? No, you cannot go into okay, Mexico illegally and do that. So there is there is a hypocrisy. That, and that's, do the shit. Sell liquor, sell this, sell that, because they're going to kill us. We can't even get what they got there for. So, you know, we yeah, have not got there for us. Okay, so you are for secure borders. Okay, so if, if, if Barack Obama gets elected president and he gives amnesty to the 20 million illegal aliens that are already in the country, does that bother you at all? Hell yeah, it's not bother me because I go to Martin Luther King. That's going to fuck me up on my baby and everything. If I need an emergency assistance, hell yeah, right. that is. Okay, so you understand that you're arguing one point, you're arguing another one. You, you seem to indicate that you're for open borders and allowing the illegals to come in. She's concerned about an open border and then taking their jobs and what have you. So you you're, it sounds like you're on two different sides of the issue. But you both support I, I, Barack I totally, Obama. I totally understand what she's saying. I do. And if, if, it was, if I was in office or if whoever was in office, I would want the same thing she's saying. But once again, I've stated this once and I'm going to say this twice. Obama, it's, it's not about, you know, the Mexicans coming over here. You have to think about other countries that are coming over here. Just because we're in America doesn't mean that you have to close the borders and knock out all the Mexicans and everything. Because once again, there's thousands of Mexicans all over here right now. What make, what, what's the difference? They've been doing it for years. So what makes it now because a black man or a white woman is running for office, what makes it different? Do you understand? That's, that's all I'm saying. Right. And for what, and the, the issue about the immigrants, it is a big issue, and I'm totally, you know, worried and concerned about that. But at the same time, you have other issues as well. And once again, the time for change, it is. Yeah, I agree with you. Seen, I agree never with you. Seen, and it's not all about the walk. You've never seen a woman in an office, have you? Not in the president. Exactly. You've never seen a woman in the president. So once again, they're proven to not only women, but black men and women as well, that it, you can change. You don't have to settle for less. You can't work your way from the bottom to the top. And that's, and that's all I'm saying. All right, we're here with Gerald. And I'm with the Millennium Panthers. We're a black political organization out of the Merck Park, California. Now, you, uh, you aren't going to vote for Barack Obama, I take it? Uh, no, I'm not. And you take issue with the individuals over here supporting Barack Obama? Uh, well, they have a right to support who they want. That's the American way. Absolutely. But I'm just not for him. So, I mean, who are you supporting in this next uh, election? Uh, uh, I'm leaning towards McCain. McCain? Yeah, McCain. Are you, uh, are you at all worried about him giving amnesty to the illegals? Uh, I believe when he gets in office, due to the fact that he has a military record, understands what it takes to protect the country, he will secure our borders and he will do the necessary to hold the office. Okay, because you, you understand that he co-authored the amnesty bill two years I ago. Understand that. I, understand, <laughs> I understand where it's going. Right, I understand right. where it's going, but he also has changed that position. He's not as strong as he was in the beginning. Right. So he's already moving over. Once he takes president, I think he'll close the door. Okay. All right, I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you.